What's up guys? My name is Marty. Uh, I was talking about making some uh, how-to videos for YouTube on uh, casitas. This is my 1988 casita. Um, and uh, we're going to make a quick video today on uh, making a storage container for the RhinoFlex uh, dump line. Um, my trailer came with a uh, one one dump line holder, uh, but the Rhino Flex doesn't fit in it because it's a four inch piece of PVC, um, and it needed to be at least five inches. So we're gonna make one out of a vinyl fence post. You can get that at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, I got mine at Home Depot. It cost me I think twenty one dollars for the post, and I picked up some of these uh, caps. Uh, and bought a set of hinges we're going to use and just some easy hook and eye locks that we'll use to lock off the end. Uh, we're going to make one of these caps able to flip up and down so be able to access it. But we're going to mount it to the back bumper over here um, right below the tail lights. I think that's probably my best best bet for uh, it's probably the best best place for the uh, storage there but um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut down this piece of vinyl fence post to the size of that bumper make sure that it uh, is enough is big enough to be holding our flex flex uh, dump line and uh, yeah I'm just gonna walk you through it real quick uh, it's real simple this is something anybody can do to their casita uh, I've actually not done this before, but uh, it'll be, it seems like it's going to be a pretty easy job and uh, pretty basic. So I'll walk you through it and uh, we'll get started. So our mark was at 52 inches, so I'm going to cut it 52 inches. all the traffic back here. I'm in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Actually, right outside Hilton Head, South Carolina. I'm in Bluffton. We got the parkway traffic right behind us. Alright. So, we'll throw on our end caps and see how she fits. Like a glove exactly what we wanted. Guys, now we're going to mount our cap to the end over here. We're just going to drill a couple holes and throw in some rivets on it. Just got these this rivet set. I don't know exactly what size they are, but uh, any size will work. They're just mounting. We're just keeping, we're just wanting to keep this uh, end from coming off. So, I'm going to drill some holes and then we'll pop in some rivets. Alright guys, we got our rivets in on this side. Now we're going to work on making the other end piece that we're going to flip over here. Alright, so for this side, we're gonna take this cap, we're gonna figure out how we can get it on here and have it flip open with that hinge. So what we're gonna want it to do is just kind of rotate up and open. Um, what I think that's gonna entail is just putting this on here and I think cutting off this, this bottom end. But uh, let's see what we got. All right guys, so I'm gonna cut off this bottom edge here and uh, that way it doesn't catch on the bottom uh, and gives the uh, hinge room to operate back and forth. So I'm just going to cut off this bottom edge here. Alright, 
So there you have it. Cut off that bottom flap. Now, got a little edge there, but I think that's gonna be just fine. It's not gonna be completely closed off to the elements, but it's 1988, why are we too, we're not gonna to be too worried about it. So now you can see what we're trying to do. We're gonna have it flip open like that. Put our little hinge right here. And it's just gonna flip open. Just like that. Sometimes rivets are not fun to work with. I can tell you that right now. I did not enjoy working with rivets. It's gonna be interesting. I've never uh, done a how-to video on YouTube before. I've always wanted to. I do a lot of. YouTube watching, um, you know, I don't know. I like I like the idea of being a part of everybody else's kind of journey, seeing what everybody else is doing. Um, it's been interesting though. I haven't been able to find too many uh, how tos on YouTube, and that that really sucked. You know, going into this, buying my first casita, you know, I was nervous because you never know, you know what what kind of trouble you might run into and I wanted to be able to know exactly what to do um, with different problems you know so it was good that I was able to find or you know well it's actually I shouldn't say it was good it was it was bad when I when I went on YouTube and I couldn't find anything pertaining to uh, casitas and how-to videos and stuff and that made me you know worry a little bit about what I might do if I had any trouble or wanted to learn how to do some stuff and so that's why I guess I'm gonna try to make some more of these videos but uh, all right let's uh, get this hinge mounted so you can see what we got going on right here now got it mounted our cap we're just gonna put some screws in there Actually, we're going to put some more rivets in there because rivets seem to be working better. And uh, then you don't have problems with the hitting your hitting your line in there and tearing it up. So give her a try. Alright guys, I'm going to leave that other hole open because I just don't think it's necessary and I don't want to waste another rivet. But 
as you can see this is what we got now little thing like that now we're gonna put in these uh, little locks that I bought over here we're gonna put one on each side I'll show you how they go all right so these are little hook and eye bolts or locks and what you're gonna do is we're gonna put one of these into the flap here and actually this is gonna be interesting because we're gonna have to actually drill out some space in here so that 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 uh, screw will slide in there and then when that screws in there it's gonna lock you're gonna, you're gonna be able to lift this up and put the lock in and this will be screwed in over here so uh, I'll show you what we did here first we're gonna drill out a hole in the uh, in the cap here um, a little guide hole for these screws and since these are really small I'm just gonna use a little eighth inch drill bit the threads on these are super small what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drill straight through both of them because that way I can uh, go back and cut out the little edge into it that I need so that the the cap will go all the way flush so here we go so then what we do is you take your little eye bolt and we just gonna thread it in there like so now my problem here with this is just kind of loose back there I didn't think about that but it will work it's gonna be loose I'm not too worried about it maybe we'll put some sealer in there or something but like I said we're gonna have to cut out a little channel in here and I'm just gonna use my drill bit to hollow that out actually no <laughs> we're gonna use the little PVC saw just like that see just like that slides in perfect so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to mark where I think I need the little eye bolt. It's going to be right about here. So I made a little mark with the, with the screw. We'll just drill her in. Let's make sure that that was good, actually. One more time. You want to make sure it's tight enough, but also a little loose. So we're going to go in here. Boom. Now we take our hook, screw it in there, Shoot. boom, 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 boom. So there you have it, put in that, put our little hook right here. Ah oh, shoot, I did it upside down. Actually, we'll just give it one more twist and we'll be good. Boom! And we're going to do this exact same thing on the other side. I'll show you guys Let's check it out we got our hinges we got our little locks on each side flip it up flip it up boom and we can access inside you got your little notches out there so that your screws are able to go down the only thing I will say is that I'd, I'd, I, I should have I should have spent a little bit more time and cut that out but you know what I think I think letting some some water flow in through there when it rains and stuff probably won't be the worst thing in the world because uh, it's our dump line I mean let's be honest it smells it's not exactly the best thing in the world we're not worried too much about it but we got it locked and I think we're set you know I might we'll see how the 
how it holds up this weekend. I'm, we're going down to St. Augustine for a night. Uh, going to meet my parents down there. They're on a, on a cruise and they're coming back and they want to meet up. So we're going to meet them down there for a night, bring the dog and bring the trailer and have a good time down at the uh, St. Augustine Beach KOA. So let's, uh, let's look at mounting this thing. All right, guys, so kind of messed up be honest with you but that's why we're here right we're learning we're all learning um, so I kept that off a little too early because in order to mount it to the bumper you got to be able to screw through it so I'm gonna drill these out these rivets out and uh, then I'm gonna mount this to the bumper with some uh, metal screws so we'll walk you through that Alright, you know what? We're just gonna try to do it without the pie hole. These are supposed to be self tapping, so let's see if that actually works out better. Okay, put a new hole in this freaking bumper. Let's get this screwed in. Boom, there we go. That's what we're gonna do. Throw this end of cap on here. Beautiful. And drill some new holes in here for the pilot here for the rivets. Alright guys, if you like that, please like and subscribe. We'll be making some more videos here shortly. Just have to uh, get some money built up. I'm going to put a fan on this thing. Uh, a fantastic fan. I'm going to put that on there. And uh, maybe we'll do some polishing because this thing is beat up. Um, if you got any questions, leave a comment. I'll definitely answer all the comments. And, uh, you know keep posted and uh, let me know if you got some ideas of videos you want done uh, anything you want to see I am going to do a tour here I'll do it probably when we're in St. Augustine this weekend uh, that way it's all set up for you and uh, you'll be able to see it for what it really is you know sitting here in the storage yard is not exactly my favorite place to show it off so all right guys thank you for watching later <laughs>